This is a completely different fighter. If you want to stop it, you have to kill me. But for the Irishman, the dream slowly turned into a nightmare. Lit up. He, he begged me, please, don't kill me, you know. Khabib brought his best to the octagon, which was shortly followed by his worst. I couldn't believe my eyes while it was happening. Oh no, total chaos here. A bitter What's up guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new yet, my name is Divine. I'm a musical five, Minominak, drummer, and a keyboardist. I have been for many, many years. I started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so, so fantastic. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at the Perseverance Reaction in order to recommend your favorite singers for us to react to. Hey, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back here on to new video guys. Today we're going to be reacting to... Hmm... Before and after fighting Khabib, Noma Gomedov. Pardon me if I didn't pronounce his name properly. I'm really sorry. This is my first time um, seeing such name. Uh, but his name, I think, is Khabib. This is going to be my first time checking this out. Before and after fighting him, it's going to be brutal. <laughs> uh, I'm not really a fan of um, fights or boxing or stuff like that. Uh, no, that's not my. That's not my. That's not my side. I love football. <laughs> But watching this, uh, I really don't know who the guy is, but I'd love to see and see how it turns out to be before and after it. You know how it is? Talk less about it, don't react more. Let's get into this video. I told you guys, we're gonna make him humble. Fight hey! fans, welcome back. You're a phony, a fake. Last year, GSP said there were three types of people in combat sports the fighters, the athletes, and the artists. Oh! Oh! But with a relentless work ethic, insane natural ability, and dominance in all areas, the choice regarding Russia's undisputed lightweight king isn't so straightforward. So it's from Russia. Now enjoying retirement, we retrace the legacy of a humble champion that never lost, never bled, and was never visibly hurt inside the octagon. That's how good Khabib Nurmagomedov is. Something in a sport as unpredictable as mixed martial arts that speaks for itself. You wanna fight? Come here. Inside the cage, come. Here we look at opponents before and after fighting Khabib Nurmagomedov. <laughs> Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. Oh my goodness! This is gonna be good! 16 and 0 is the mixed martial arts record, and he's just 23 years old. Ten years ago, the Russians signed the dotted line, entering the UFC's lightweight roster on a six fight deal. Straying under the radar, he picked up his first handful of victories, dragging his opponents the distance, but crunching, mauling, and slamming them in the process. UFC record, 21 takedowns. With an ever-evolving style, Khabib would beat Rafael Dos Anjos, his first top five opponent, without losing a single round. Look how I just want to see who's got the style to handle this guy. Some were convinced, oh, others good. not so much but everybody had started to take notice. I think he's a little amateur. Uh, I think that he, he needs a little work. Uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov, before you were here, he's already in the press room somewhere, telling everybody that'll listen, hey, he's undefeated, he deserves to be next. Is, is, is he what you think should be next? Hey, if, he, if they want him next, give him a shot. I'm ready. It would be two years later, following a series of freak knee injuries, that Khabib would finally be back in action. You're fat, you're slow, and you have I, no I rhythm. I people. can't wait to shut your face with my hand. I'm gonna knock you out. Unfortunately, Tony Ferguson pulled out, facing health issues of his own. Still kind of a hard pill to swallow. Leaving Pennsylvanian Daryl the St. Horcher with the opportunity of a lifetime. Here, UFC give me fight versus Tony. 16 April, I'm here. Where's Tony? Tony's pull out. Please shut up. I have fight. I have fight, Daryl Horcher. I have to focus with this guy. I don't think can me. There's nobody on the planet who can stand on me. All I do is touch you. Whether we're on the ground or we're standing up, that's all it takes. Obviously, there was better matchup that we could have on nine days' notice than to be himself, you know, but he's just a man. They're all the same. At the 160-pound catchweight, Horcher was a huge underdog. And as the fight unraveled, it became more and more apparent why. Big shots. Horcher's got to protect himself. I'm going to touch him, and he's not going to like my power. And that's the just of it. You know, this could easily be stopped. 
7-0 in the UFC. Though with an embrace and show of respect, it was a night that highlighted the more amicable side of mixed martial arts. I came up short in my debut. Tough guy. What he did tonight, no one won. You know, you play the number one guy in the, in the division on eight day notice. You know, I lost 25 pounds in seven days. I came off the couch. I hadn't trained in months. This was my real debut. Real debut. Real debut. Real debut. The guy's an animal. I truly think. <laughs> I love how he <laughs> I love how Khabib humbled him. Who is talking? La, 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 la. Khabib humbled him. Just sit down. Shut up. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love the fight. It was, it was really incredible. I love to see more. He is the best lightweight in the world. With Eddie Alvarez sidestepping Habib in exchange for Red Panty Night. You're blessed that I chose to whoop your next. It was another tough, quick, and confident American that would take his place. I'm about to go celebrate with my team in the back, and we're getting ready for soon. I went on that New York card. Anybody, let's First go. First of all, I have to beat Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson already beat Tony Ferguson, Barboza, a lot of tough guys. He's not easy fight. Hmm. Tony aside, he knows Michael the Johnson was the only man calling out Khabib and labeling him as one-dimensional. No, I'm here to take care of business. I'm here to fight, I'm here to get a win, and uh, that's all it is. I don't think we're gonna see a new Khabib. We haven't seen him, we haven't seen him progress this game at all. I, I hope he tries to test it out on me Saturday. You know, I'm looking forward to that one. Whilst Johnson too deserves credit for stepping up to the plate, his fate was no less brutal. It almost seems like they're shocked at how strong he is. Hey, listen, there is pounding Michael Johnson's that I go to smash your boy. Make no mistake. <laughs> Talking to him in the process, the Eagles swept him up, dropped him, and then drowned him. Michael should tap or he's gonna break his arm. He's gonna break his arm. What a display of dominance. Both Ooh. men showed respect in the aftermath. But Habib's focus quickly switched to the lightweight title and one man in particular. I wanna fight with your chicken because this is number one easy fight in lightweight division. I think I deserve this, but this is up to main event. Because if Conor win, of course he not take this fight. Who presented the toughest challenge in your opinion? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's got to be Khabib. I mean, come on, I mean, he's just... Uh... Khabib would get his shot at the lightweight strap in early 2018. But five months prior, it was Edson Barboza that would look to halt the Russians' route to the top. Khabib, I know he, he's a true fighter, but Conor... I prefer don't talk about him because he's not a true fighter. On the back of three convincing wins, Barboza jumped at his chance to face the very best. The two best lightweights in the world fighting, you know. He definitely won the best, I mean, won the best, and that's making me very excited for this fight. The fight itself felt like a slow, brutal execution. You know, Jordan is prime. You just, you just can't cover the guy. It's almost like he's the only one on the court. Yeah. Woo! Remember enough, it, it was like he was the only one in the cage. Dominance by Habib Nurmagomedov. Fight of the night and a reminder of just how good Habib really was. What does make him so special? Everybody know his game. Everybody know his game plan. Mm. And nobody can stop him. I think definitely one of the best of all the time in the lightweight. Now, if you have to give me one hour rest, I can fight one more time with Conor or Tony. That no problem. Nah, Khabib looked terrible in that fight. He's just barreling down, coming straight forward like a tank. You know, I got a little more style than I got a little more. I think it's a bit vain for Khabib because <laughs> he's probably... Don't estimate him. I'm probably his biggest fan in the UFC, so... Is it what I've noticed? People are always underestimating Habib. Khabib. They are always underestimating him. They don't know what his plan is. They think it's just like... <laughs> this guy will beat like a boy. <laughs> every opponent right there, he trashed it. He beats every single one of them like a boy. Like, I wish I watched him much life. <laughs> it's really amazing for me. Damn. Like, with no mercy. He almost broke that guy's arm. Damn. You really think he looked terrible in that fight? To be? Yeah, I, some it, The man looked the same that he did a couple years ago. After oh, another Tony him. Ferguson injury, coupled with some replacement drama. They checked, they looked at me, and they said, you don't look good, you can't do it. That's all that happened, and it walked off. It was Al Taipinta, a former championship wrestler with fantastic takedown defense, who'd be up next 
with a chance to snatch the vacant lightweight title. Sure, you'd have to pay me $2 million to fight, a million dollars to fight Khabib. I don't want to fight that guy. You see what happened to Barbosa? <laughs> nuts. They're getting beat up to the point where they want out. And that's something that you're never going to see with me. So This week, they asked me to fight with five different guys. If you can bring King Kong and he can make 155, let's go. I love the New guts. Yorker's takedown defense and awareness was indeed on point. That was very intriguing was the fact that Iaquinta was able to get back up. Unfortunately for him, this was the night we found that Khabib's striking had improved greatly. Khabib was hitting his opponent and not getting hit back. Iaquinta's oh. performance drew a lot of praise, supposedly laying the blueprint to beat the Russians. He's cool, calm, under pressure. He got out of it and then he was like, all right. That's it, now I'm gonna kill you. But with the American referring to him as a monster post-fight, it was still going to take something otherworldly to stop him. Now I wanna fight with George St. Pierre in New York, Madison Square Garden. Hey! I, I love how he's climbing it, Lara, he's climbing it. In certain positions, he's amazing in, and he's also amazing at getting to the positions that he's amazing in. Oh, well, hey, hey, good, good job. job. Message, hey, come here, this place, and that's it. Thus far in his career, Khabib's grace and humility had repelled the majority of bad blood or trash talk. However, as we know, this was all about to change. I am going to truly, truly love putting a bad, bad beating on this little glass jaw rat. You three, four times. You tap four so times. So I'll tap your head off like canvas, chicken. Kid. You Damn. With both men's personalities amplified under the spotlight, this oh really was goodness. the ultimate good guy versus <laughs> bad guy show. This is gonna be amazing! You will never be the Insane! It will be the biggest fight in history! Fight fans were still pinching themselves as the two made wait the for this fight, to guys. the octagon. This is not Eddie Alvarez or Jose Aldo. This is a completely different fighter. If you wanna stop it, you have to kill me. But for the Irishman, the dream slowly turned into a nightmare. Lit up. He, he begged me, please, don't kill me, you know. Khabib brought his best to the octagon, which was shortly followed by his worst. I couldn't believe my eyes while it was happening. Oh no, total chaos here. A bittersweet ending to the sport's highest grossing pay-per-view. Kind of gets a hard time about his, uh, about his cardio all the time, but... Who has Khabib faced that didn't look like that after two rounds? I, um, I just misinterpreted his efficiency. He was very efficient and he took, he took shots well. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me questions like, what do I see weaknesses in, in Khabib's game or where do I think he makes mistakes? And I, I don't really need him to be weak for me to be strong, you know? I, I don't need huge glaring holes. I'm gonna create them. What are your plans as champion? I just wanna mold people. This is what I wanna do. I'm gonna wrestle with him all night, make him tired and make him tap. This is my plan. A year later, after putting the ugliest scenes of his career behind him, right Khabib's attention turned to another man who was tearing through the lightweight division. Dana, Sean, Khabib, let's go! Poirier didn't bring the drama like Connor, but as an all-rounder with game-changing power, it was a clash that lit up the imagination in equal measure. I'm gonna make something special happen September 7th in Abu Dhabi. I'm gonna shock the world. This is gonna be incredible. We saw a more cautious version of Dustin in Abu Dhabi. You have to push him back a little, and we haven't really seen that out of anybody yet because they're so worried about that the speed of that shot. And ultimately, despite having success of his own, he was overpowered and submitted in the third. They know what he wants to do, they can't stop it. A great show of respect capped off another of the lightweight division's hottest showdowns. If anything adversity has taught me in the past, is when times are good, be grateful. And when times like this, be graceful. And his hands, his feet are like hands, like his foot sweeps, and, and the way he breaks you down, it's, it's good, man. He's good. So good. You know, people know who both of these guys are. They know what they're both capable of, and that's why this fight is so big. It's going to cause him some serious, serious issues in there. He's not going to be able to do what he wants when he wants. In a promise to his family, Fight Island would be the last time we saw Khabib defend his crown and unbeaten record. I was born and I was bred and I was raised to do this. 
and I will do it till the wheels fall off. When he's on his feet, I will be causing massive damage to his legs, to his body, and his face. An elite wrestler, a devastating striker, and a man with newfound composure, Justin Gagey was considered the man with the best chance of dethroning the champion. He should be afraid. Gagey should be afraid of the takedown, which he will be. And with one of the most exciting styles in the game, no trash talk was Damn, necessary. Fast. Everyone knows he's the best fight at 155 pounds, and we are finally he here. He pointed at him and said, you have jet lag. During the fight? During the fight. He <laughs> said, you have jet lag. He said, Gagey said, no, I don't and hit him with a left hook and an uppercut. Left hook up top from Gaethje. Though, what was supposed to be the roughest, toughest night's work of Habib's career is made to look like another day at the office. Chokes Justin Gaethje to sleep. He does things to world-class guys that makes you just confused. Habib told his own corner to quiet down as the fight ended, which speaks for itself. And Gaethje's humble response and defeat might even have gained him more fans than a victory. Don't want to imagine, you know, what he was going through. But uh, as soon as the fight was over, I went up and told him that he just made his father so proud. And uh, it, was, it was, you know, he did. Well. Okay, guys. Habib is good. This guy is so good, guys. I love his guts, number one. I love how he shot down, or shut up, tell him to shut up. All his opponents tell him, shut up. Don't, don't blab over here. <laughs> don't blab over here. We at, we show action. He tell him, shut up. It's so good. And he keeps on home being there. Like, you see, after every fight, after every individual, every all his opponents, they are all humble. They all, all have the same look. Every check from the stats to the end, they all have the same look. They are all humbled. I underestimated this guy. This guy is good. This guy have the skill I never saw coming. He's so good, so fast, and so determined. This is his determination to prove them wrong. That's what I love. I love his gut. I love it so much, guys. This fight was incredible. This fight was amazing. I'm not a fan of boxing or all this kind of stuff, bro. <laughs> I enjoyed this one. I enjoyed it. This was good. This was incredible. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video as many as you can. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. You know how I do it. So see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. Bye. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales on.